this is the accent challenge. I got it from Bliss Morgan, who I think got it from Tejas Richard. Um, apparently it started on Tumblr, but has migrated to Google+, which is where I saw it. So, your name and username. My name is Catherine. My username on Google+, is Catherine Huxtable. Where I am from? Lawrence, Kansas. Pronounce the following words. Ant, roof, route, theater, iron, salmon, caramel, fire, water, New Orleans, pecan, both, again, probably, Alabama, lawyer, coupon, mayonnaise, pajamas, caught, naturally, aluminum, gif, tumbler, crackerjack, doorknob, envelope, and jeepoy, whatever that is. What is it called when you throw a toilet paper on a house? TPA. You TP the house. What is a bubbly carbonated drink called? Soft drink or pop. What do you call gym shoes? Tennis shoes. What do you call your grandparents? Grandma and Grandpa. What do you call the wheeled contraption in which you carry groceries at the supermarket? A shopping cart. What is the thing you change TV channels with? A remote. Choose the book and read a passage from it. I will do this later. Do you think you have an accent? Of course I have an accent. I have a Midwestern nasal twang. I'm from Kansas. Be a wizard or a vampire? What? What does that even mean? And what does it have to do with accents? Do you know anyone on Tumblr in real life? Yes, a few. And uh, end the audio post by saying any three words you want. Okay. Defenestrated. Fecundity. Caddy Corner. I shall read from Little Big by John Crowley, one of my favorite novels. More would happen. It wasn't a place Sylvie liked to stay in much. In its bare, fluorescent, hard-finished shabbiness, she recognized too many places where she had spent too much of her childhood. The waiting rooms of public hospitals and asylums, welfare offices, police stations, places where a congress of faces and bodies in poor clothes gathered, dispersed, were replaced always by others. She didn't fortunately have to spend too much time there. Winged messenger service was as busy as it had ever been, and out on the cold spring streets, bound in work boots and hooded sweatshirt, looking, she told Auberon, like a teenage dyke, but cute. She made time, glorying in the crowds, the posh offices, and the oddly assorted secretaries, snooty, harsh, and mannered, slovenly, kind, whom she gave to and took away from. Winged messenger, she shouted at them, no time to waste. Sign here, please. And away, in elevators crowded with soft-voiced, fine-suited men on their way to lunch, or loud-voiced backslappers returning. Though she never learned Midtown as Fred Savage knew it, every underground access, every passageway, every building which, facing on one avenue, evacuated onto another, saving half a block for a walker. She did grasp the general, and find shortcuts, and she made her lefts and rights, ups and downs, with an accuracy she was proud of. That has been the Accent Challenge.